Like Leeds United's chairman Peter Ridsdale has warned his former manager and new Tottenham boss George Graham to keep his hands off any of Leeds United's players. Meanwhile, anyone who's feeling down about Graham's departure was given a huge boost today when Leeds were paired with AS Roma in the next round of the UEFA Cup. But who'll be in charge for that game in three weeks' time is yet to be resolved. With David O'Leary ruling himself out of contention, the spotlight turned to the man who'll be coming to Elland Road anyway tomorrow. Martin O'Neill will lead Leicester City out against Leeds, and although his chairman has prevented any dialogue so far, O'Neill hasn't taken his name off the shortlist. Mr. Elson has just preempted any sort of movement anyway, I believe, and I think uh, uh, Mr. Richardson over at Coventry has done exactly the same thing with Gordon Strachan. So. I can't, can't really comment on it anyway, Dennis, because it's pure speculation. The Coventry manager and former Leeds favourite Gordon Strachan is the other front-runner for the job. He increased speculation about his interest today by refusing to be interviewed. But the favourite choice of some Leeds fans made it clear today that he wasn't in contention. I've ruled myself out for, uh, for personal reasons and uh, maybe someday I'll say why. Um, but I don't think it's because uh, I feel inferior to those two people. And that's only added to the speculation that O'Leary will follow George Graham back down to London and become his assistant at Spurs. But the team who returned from a close shave against Maritimo on Tuesday night remain undaunted by the week's events. I think the position that we're in at the moment, um, we realise it's, it's a good position, we're unbeaten. Uh, we're at home, so I don't think you need any more motivation than that. AS Roma, what do you think about that? Uh, it's a fantastic uh, tie for us, a uh, glamorous tie, and uh, to go away there first, hopefully get a good result and take him back to Leeds and fin finishing them off. In the meantime, it's not just the fans, but the Leeds players who this weekend are wondering who will be their new manager next week. Well, Don, quite rightly, you ended with a question there on that report, because it's still confusing, isn't it? There's still surveys showing different findings. It is, especially when uh, Terry Venables had his name thrown into that this morning. I mean, he's obviously only An just started at George Crystal Graham's Palace. Well, Terry Venables. Ironically enough. Mm. There have been a couple of polls done today. One of them was on the Leeds United website, which makes jo uh, Gordon Strachan the favourite with 39%. And, uh, I mean, there was another one which said... Uh, date, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah. it's got the, fan, the fans want David O'Leary in charge, despite the fact that he's ruled himself out of the running. One so most funny thing of all is the thought that Hasselbank and Radibi might be going. Absolutely. That was that has been uh, mentioned, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, and uh, a lot of the other players are upset about it. I think they're all still waiting to make up their mind as, mm. to, as to who comes in and to see what they're going to do. Cheers, man. So there you go. Well, Draw in the second round of the UEFA Cup. They travel to the Italian capital to meet Roma in the first leg on October the 20th. Elsewhere, angry Hull City fans are planning another demonstration against Chairman David Lloyd. That's at tomorrow's home match against Cambridge. But we begin our football roundup with that UEFA Cup draw. Leeds scraped past the Portuguese side Maritimo after a penalty shootout on Tuesday. This time they're away in the first leg. Today's draw paired them against Roma. The caretaker manager is planning to do his homework on the Italians. By the time we meet them over the next couple of weeks, um, hopefully I'll have got a chance to see them. Um, uh, the, the other pair, another person who goes out and watches our opposition will go out and see them and uh, we will be fully briefed uh, on how they play, who they've got and um, as I say, how hard a task we've got as well. Well, now as for Leeds, plenty of speculation as to who might follow in George's footsteps but one man who doesn't want the job is Graham's former assistant, David O'Leary. The chairman asked me uh, about the job yesterday. He told me it was one of three people. Um, who was going to get the job. Uh, I said I didn't want the job and I thought I'd make it easier now. There's only two of those people to choose from. Um, I know the two, I was flattered that he told me who the two are, um, but everybody can speculate who, who they are. Everybody thinks they know who they are. Um, and uh, as I say, that stays between the chairman and myself. And will you be around for the UEFA Cup draw or the UEFA Cup game? I hope I'm around here for a long time to come, um, but uh, I've got a contract here that says I'm, I coach the first team and that's what I like doing, um, and that's what I'll do um, for as long as Leeds United want me to do it. And I, I can't be more honest than that to you. Well, speculation has it that those two names are Gordon Strachan and, and Martin O'Neill. Yeah. Where do you think they'll go? Don't say Martin O'Neill. I, well, I think, I think he would be favourite at the yeah. moment. I think sure if he went down to the bookmakers, that's certainly what would happen. Um, if we're led to believe that Leeds have got £3 million conversation from Tottenham, um, it'll make it easier to 
obviously go to Rodney Walker, the Leicester chairman, mm -hmm. on behalf of Peter Rizdan and say, right, you know, what's it going to cost for us to take Martin O'Neill? I think it's just ironic, the fact that they're playing each other today as well, mm -hmm. Le at Leeds Leicester. Interesting boardroom. Well, exactly. Be, uh, I'd love to be in O'Neill's pocket today, or maybe you wouldn't actually come to think of it. But certainly I think it, it's very, very interesting. What surprises me is that David O'Leary has written himself out the mm -hmm. job, because if, say, um, Martin O'Neill or Gordon Strachan got the job, well, you would think they'd probably bring their own men in. So where would that leave David? Unless, of course, he, he's going to go to Tottenham, and it's the old double bluff. Well, the relevant chairmen have tried to hang on to their players as well. Sir Rodney Walker this morning has stated that um, Martin O'Neill will stay at Leicester. Mm. But so it's like Ridsdale did last yeah. week. So, so, so Monday morning, he's <laughs> the new manager of Leeds United, in other words. So. And it's, it's difficult for chairman. Obviously, we know what Martin went through in the summer about will he, won't he, will he go to Everton, will he stay at Leicester. And they haven't made a particularly great start, Leicester. And I think he's slightly uh, had his hands tied in terms of trying to buy players. And maybe if he goes to Leeds, he might think he's got a better, a better set of players, better squad, and may have more financial clout to go on and improve himself as a manager and the team, of course. Mm, sounds great for Leicester.